muito não. Oh. Uh. Oh, that was a bad one. Okay. So we're at the Devil's Punch Bowl again and I wasn't actually planning on filming anything today. It's not that nice a day and I thought I was just gonna do the same routes and I saw this route off of the side of the route I usually go down and I had never seen it before. And I went down it and it's just this labyrinth of these amazing paths. So we're gonna do some cool uh, green lane again today. Let's have a look. Oh, I swear your helmet. Nasty. Oh, my glasses. I need some contact lenses, man. <laughs> it's so horrible riding the slow mud stuff without a public byway. Right away, you can't go on byway, you can. There you go, a little lesson.
everyone's respectful, keep it sweet, keep it nice, no problem. Start getting annoyed and like uh, earlier on, there was a, a, a two Land Rovers and we were like, it was too thin of a path to sort of make way for each other. And I was actually in the wrong because I had stopped to change the battery. But I, it's obviously harder for me to reverse because I have to turn the bike around. So they showed a bit of understanding. Turn it around. They, they reversed and as soon as I could pull in, I pulled in and let them go past. See, now that's confusing. Unless, I mean, that's straight, so it must be down that way. All right. So yeah, we can see some tracks. This is the only place I can see tracks, I'm assuming it's this way.
avoid the rocks. Oh, blimey. This is very technical. Right, right, right. I think the best part here... I know where we are! This was the video where I got really stuck and it took me hours to get up. But hey, we found it! Ah, I wish I was a... I should have gone over this fast and now I'm going to scratch the bottom of my mud There's no way I have the clearance for this. This was where coming up there took me hours to get up. I'm just gonna check the bottom of my skid plate because I definitely scratched something. I think we're okay. Oh, that was sick. Very cool. Wow, awesome, awesome stuff. We finally found the connecting path. So for those of you who don't remember, this path here, I uh, completely overestimated my ability. And I came up here, and all of this is like big, loose rocks. You just cannot get traction, because if you, they're hard to get over, so you need more power to get over. If you put more power to the back wheel, it spins and kicks the rocks out. And it was hell, and it took me about an hour. And you'll see as I go down it now, it's only really like a... Maybe like... I wouldn't even say quarter of a mile, like two or three hundred meters, but just really, really um, technical stuff. Technical stuff. You'll see it now. The GoPro may hide the technicality of it but you can see the bike <laughs> how bumpy it is oh, wait, I'm just gonna take my glasses off for this bit because my close sort of vision close to my eyes is, is fine there's no uh, I have no issue there and here all I'm looking at is the, the sort of stones in front of me when I do the long stuff obviously I need to see the uh, I'm just going to walk this down here because this is just absolutely horrible. More fun. This is, the, this is the hardest trail I've been down and even though it took me hours and half the time I wasn't on the bike, I was still having fun and it's just crazy to me that something that can be that challenging and like physically exhausting because honestly I mean I'm out of breath now but back then I was really out of breath so it's just an incredibly rewarding uh, hobby incredibly rewarding Oh, that was a bad one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm all good. And I'll say what that was. That was simply put overconfidence. I got down that bit that took me ages to get down. And I thought there was a progression. And I got too cocky and when it got flat, 
Or so I thought. Well, when it got flat, or so I thought, uh, it got muddy and I, I lost control of the bike. So hey, we're okay. Let's take, take a lesson from that. Ooh, hang on a sec. I think I've bent my brake. We've messed up the brake a little bit. See here? We've bent the metal. Right, so the brake isn't broken, it's just what's happened is it's caught here and bent out slightly. It still seems like it's on there solid, just being bent a bit. No worries. We'll take it slow, make sure it still breaks. Make sure everything else is okay. Make everything else is good. Let's keep it moving. Oh. Woo! Oh. I don't know if that's just the adrenaline because I've never dropped the bike going that far. To be honest, I've never gone that far off road here. Which is but we'll, uh, it's, all, it's all about taking lessons from your fools. Because if you just fall and you don't know why, you don't know how you fell, then you know, what's the point? Uh, yeah, so we're going to end it. As always, like, comment and subscribe. And as always, enjoy the ride. I'll see you. So strong and hard